Coming up on the DMT One to One Show episode 56 on the 16th of April 2014, an interview with Jonathan Lane, the CEO and co-founder of the music discovery app Lucky Penny. Hello everyone and welcome to the DMT One to One Show and this week it's a real pleasure to welcome uh, Jonathan Lane. Thank you, it's a pleasure of, uh, to be here. That's awesome to have you. And so, uh, Jonathan, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, Lucky Penny, and uh, uh, it's a it's a great app. And uh, for the first time, actually, on DMT, we are showing the app live on the video. So if you're listening to the audio, uh, you're missing out on something. And uh, uh, we're going to walk through it step by step. But first of all, uh, tell me about uh, how Lucky Penny came about and what the service is, is all about. Sure. So Lucky Penny, uh, the idea came about uh, over a year ago. We really uh, kind of went strong in building it about six months ago right. and uh, teamed up with uh, co-founders uh, John Willennan and Joe Landon, and I'm Jonathan Lane, so all Jays, uh, because we're all incredibly passionate about music and we saw that there could be uh, a lot more done in the space as far as bringing people together around the world to share music and concerts uh, around the world and nearby. And so uh, when did the app uh, come out and how long has it been in the market? Uh, it came out uh, now three months ago, and we've um, been off to a great start. Uh, got a bunch of great press from TechCrunch and VentureBeat. Uh, we got put on the home page of the App Store as the best new app, and we're now awesome. position number three next to Pandora and Music Discovery, which is uh, not bad. Not a bad place to be, right? <laughs> not bad at all. Yeah. <laughs> and so, and so, let's have a look through if this works, uh, uh, how the app uh, works here. So, uh, of course, uh, if when you when you join the app, you you log in through Facebook and and you get uh, some data from that, and and uh, uh, you have a bunch of different options. It's quite a, it's quite a complex app uh, to, to walk to walk uh, to walk us through. So let's start with the with the with the beginnings. So uh, how is the what is the approach when a user comes into the app? So when the user comes into the app, the first thing that they see is a community bulletin board, people posting music and concerts around exactly. the world and nearby. So uh, that's the first thing that you see, and you can scan through um, as you're doing um, all the different posts, and you can see actually. Uh, certain ones, like that one right there, has a green button on it, which tells you if that artist is playing near you. Awesome. Um, yeah, like so that, that yeah. doesn't matter where that person posted it. If it's relevant to you nearby, then it's going to let you know that. And, it, and uh, yeah, it jumps me through the song kick to, to, to look at the gig, which is perfect. Exactly. So we're really trying to marry both music and concert discovery together. Right now, you know, it's like the worst feeling when you find an artist that you love and then you find out that they played last week. Right. And, um, and so we're really trying to make that a seamless experience. Um, and as you find someone that you like, so maybe there's a post there that you're interested in, yeah. um, you can actually click on a person's profile picture and go to their profile yeah. and stream... Um, and stream a radio of just their music. Right. And I'm going to go to my profile. I don't want to invade anybody's privacy, so I'm going to go to my own profile, which has got this really embarrassing pirate picture from my Facebook account. <laughs> 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 That's great. Yeah. And so, you know, when you go to someone's profile and, and you like what, what you find there, then you can actually add them to your crew. And that's a way okay. of following them in the same kind of way of like Instagram follows. Um, and so then, as, I, as you can see on your profile, you have posts at the top. These are all the posts that you're making. You have your favorites. So these yeah. are going to be uh, your favorite tracks that you're finding throughout uh, great. LP. And then your crew are all the people that are in your crew. So you can listen to a stream of, of just the people that you want to follow. Awesome. That's fantastic. And so, uh, and so uh, th that's the wall, essentially, which is one of the, the key features. And uh, one of the cool things is that you can actually filter uh, your wall depending on the functionality that you want to see. So you can, uh, for example, uh, select whether you want or not want to see shows uh, that are being posted or photos aside from just songs or uh, whether you want to see only posts that are happening uh, very close to you in your area or driving distance or flying distance, which is perfect for people that maybe are in areas where there isn't such a big user base yet uh, for the service, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, and then we also just added that search bar to the top of the wall so you can search uh, for artists that you're really into and then you know, find out if other people uh, are into those, that same, those same artists. So you know, it's kind of a fun uh, tool to like say, okay, I know a really cool underground band that I don't think a lot of people would know about. Oh, I just found three people who know them and uh, now I want to tap into their library and see what else they, they have. That's cool. And so uh, from there, uh, you can also find people, of course. Uh, so uh, I guess uh, in this case, we're finding people 
uh, based on location again uh, you know you can of course find friends that you already have on Facebook uh, mm -hmm. if I go here I think you know I could find a bunch of different uh, uh, people uh, that are, were on my on my contact list uh, uh, or invite them uh, otherwise uh, I can just scroll through and find a bunch of people uh, from uh, that are already on the service I might find people I know or I might just find people that have interesting music tastes on here so we can see people having different uh, profiles and and uh, uh, sort of a list of the, mu the music that they posted on the service so far as well which is pretty cool and so uh, we had a look at the wall and the find people function and so let's look at my stream so is this a condensed version of essentially the wall or uh, what what's the what's the function of it so the stream is going to be how people are interacting with your content, which people okay. are commenting on your posts, which people are uh, favoriting your posts. We've actually in introduced something called cred as well. Um, and cred is different than a Facebook like um, uh, where if someone likes something that you've posted, they're giving you cred. It's sticky. So that's sort of your reputation on our app and gives you more influence in our app. So you'll be known as sort of a tastemaker in a genre, that kind of thing. So... Um, so what you were looking at there was all the ways that people were interacting with your content, what they've been favoriting, what they've been giving you cred. And then you yeah. can actually see um, what people in your crew have been doing in the app cool. if you want to see what they've been engaging with. The next thing that you just went to is playlists. Exactly, yeah. And, uh, and that we've actually been getting really awesome exclusive playlists from some of our favorite artists, uh, which has been wonderful. Mayor Hawthorne's on there. Um, Plain White Tees, um, Family Crest is a really cool up and coming artist. Um, uh, Yellow Red Sparks is a really great cocktail hour kind of uh, mix that they put together for us. So we like to feature different artists um, pretty much bi weekly. That's awesome. And so, and so that's another great way of showcasing one of the uh, other key features of a service. I'm going to jump into the settings here because, of course, uh, I need to highlight the fact that there is a full audio and Spotify uh, in integration. So if you have a premium account, you can log in with those services and listen to the full track, which is pretty, pretty great. Uh, it's a great way to interact with the service. And so uh, I wanted to ask you, one of the things that we've seen with a, a service like Twitter Music, for example, one of the key issues they had was the fact that they only had clips. How do you see people interacting with clips on the service right now and are people that don't have uh, a Sp Spotify or audio account engaging less with the app or are you finding ways around that? Uh, well, funny enough, we're actually finding that more than 50% of our active users are not on Spotify or right. audio. They're actually listening to 30 second clips. So they're using it as a, as a discovery tool to follow people. Um, we are integrating SoundCloud as we speak and other things to make it easier for people who aren't subscribers to get full tracks. Um, so that's also in the works. That's amazing. And then you have messages. So essentially people that you follow on the service or the follow you, you can actually have a direct chat, which is also pretty cool uh, as a feature, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And we find people like making friends, actually finding dates. Uh, lots <laughs> of, uh, actually, we're surprised how often that's been used. Um, you know, you're coming to town, you've never been to LA, you want to know a cool show, you trust someone, yeah. uh, reach out to them and say, hey, do you know of anything cool going on this weekend? That kind of thing. That's cool. So if I... I just picked a random user and I write type hello and I send a message, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool because like uh, most of the services that have been done so far that are in this uh, domain have been mostly anonymized. Uh, at least, you know, you, maybe you can see a map of where people are. I'm, I'm thinking of, uh, for example, uh, uh, oh God, I, I can't remember the name of the company, but yeah, uh, a company that tracks plays and allows you to see a map, a sound wave, that's, that's one. Sound wave, you right. can see a map of users and where they are and what they're playing, but you can't really interact with them as such. So mm -hmm. this is pretty interesting because uh, uh, in a way it's, uh, it, it could be seen as invasive, but on the other side, it actually does allow you to interact with real human beings that are listening to music you like. And so it, it, organically, it's just a really great process. Absolutely. And, you know, that's what we found. It's like, you know, it, Facebook is great because, you know, you know, you know, you have a group of friends and, you know, you like to engage with those group of friends. A lot of times those friends don't share the same interests in music as you do. Um, I have my, you know, I'm friends with my mom on Facebook. I don't necessarily share the same taste of music that she does. Yeah. So posting music to Facebook to a community that's not really relevant to me isn't, doesn't really fly. And so we've really built this to try to introduce you to new people that are relevant based on musical tastes and so you can start building new bonds that way that's awesome and so uh, looking at uh, how you're developing the audience uh, right now it's all word of mouth are you planning anything more uh, and word of mouth and of course the, the Apple feature which is a huge boost for, for any app uh, are you planning anything more on top of that uh, and uh, and what are your plans for expansion 
Um, yeah, absolutely. We're, we're in talks right now of, of doing something uh, for Android and um, and doing something with Google Play, and uh, we're, we're in the works of those things right now. But the main thing that we're trying to do is optimize the experience to give people the best experience and right. then increase distribution from the app. So um, we're going to be doing a lot of contests coming up to win free tickets uh, by sharing content on the app. And that's, that's one of the things that we're, we're doing to kind of help spread the word. Awesome. Uh, finally, of course, uh, uh, people that are watching this uh, from uh, uh, with a business eye, uh, they're going to ask, uh, you know, I can't see any way of paying any money in the app yet. So, <laughs> 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 so do you have any, any, anything you can share uh, when it comes to monetization uh, right now? Or uh, is it still in the works? Um, you know, we are really focused right now on, on building our, our user base. We do have affiliate fees right now that we're getting from um, ticket sales and, and music sales. Um, but really, we're looking for creative ways to utilize cred. That cred is, is really, I think, um, a way that um, becoming a tastemaker in our community, um, you know, sharing relevant content, um, unlocking exclusives from artists and labels, um, you know, we, we really want to figure out ways that that sort of gamification of cred uh, can can sort of steer us in the way of, of a monetization strategy. I won't go too deep into it sure, because of course, yeah. uh, it's, you know, I don't want to talk too much about it, but there, there are quite a few avenues that we're seeing with that. Cool. Awesome. Well, uh, Jonathan, it was a real pleasure. And again, once again, it's uh, the Lucky Penny app. Uh, you can uh, check it out on the App Store, uh, both for iOS and on Android. And uh, if you have a Spotify or audio account, which many of my listeners do, uh, then it's uh, even more fun because you can listen to full tracks. Uh, it was a real pleasure, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for listening to the DMT One to One Show. The show comes out weekly featuring cool startups or uh, projects uh, in the digital music space. You can find it on digitalmusictrends.com and follow through the links to the One to One Show or listen to the weekly news show, which comes out also every week where we discuss the latest news in the digital music industry. Thanks so much for listening. Have a fantastic week and until next time. 